know, uh, Smeal history was a, is really a man with a dream. Uh, my father wanted to manufacture it. He had a job, and he was getting a house full of kids, but uh, he went to a, to a, a bank and, and uh, tried to secure a loan to, to start a manufacturing plant, and uh, the banker told him, you know, find yourself a job. <laughs> a bunch of kids to feed, but he didn't give up, and uh, he started in, in, as a bought out an implement uh, business and uh, started there. Southeast Fire purchased uh, the first Smeal apparatus in 1989. Uh, currently with the purchase of the, the two new engines, we now have a total of three uh, Smeal apparatus in our service. The stuff that we like about the Smeal apparatus is just, first of all, the quality workmanship that we get with them. Uh, the fact that we had one for 20 years, had basically no problems with the truck. Uh, when we decided to purchase our two new engines, we knew what we were going to get, and that was top of the line equipment. I don't know if it's the, the work ethic that makes uh, the way they build them, the, the quality piece that they are, but they're just top of the line. We, we looked at other apparatus manufacturers, and when it really came down to it, it was an easy choice for us. They sat down with us, they took the time, many hours went into it, uh, they explained everything to us, what our options were, and laid everything out for us. And again, they listened to what our needs were, and that was uh, foremost to us. A lot of the other uh, companies that were out there were trying to push demo trucks or just this is what you guys need. They don't know what I need, I know what I need. And that was what was, was so key with everything, and it very, again, made our decision very easy and very seamless. Smeal got into the fire apparatus business uh, by replacing his own department's tanker. They had a tanker that had a leak, leaky tank, and they said, Don, build us a tank for it. And uh, Don says, you know what, we really, we really could use a, a pump on that tank. And he says, and besides that, if you'll, if you'll buy a new chassis and put it under there, I'll build you an aerial ladder. And they said, oh, no. You got to go to Elmira, New York, to get an aerial ladder. You can't build an aerial ladder. He says, "I can build an aerial ladder as good as they can." And um, they went to the rural board, and the rural board came up with the dough to go ahead and bring up the money. And it was like fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> he built him a, a forty-foot aerial ladder, and uh, it, it, was, it worked well and wonderful, and went to a bunch of. Uh, Mutual aid to, right off the bat, and the towns around just just thought the world of it. So that started them saying, "Well, we don't want an aerial ladder, but if you build us a pumper, you know, we'll see what you can build it for compared to what we have to pay for it or buying it somewhere else." And and it, it started, and then this town, the next town, the next town, and and away it went. Well, what makes Smeal unique, I think, is our attitude that uh, that we don't intend to be the biggest manufacturer, but we're going to be the best. Quality is so important in Smeal fire apparatus because without quality, we cannot sell trucks. Quality is the number one thing that sells our trucks because we're far above everybody else. Our employees take pride in the quality that they put in to their job every day. They come here with quality in mind. Smeal fire apparatus is the top company in the fire industry because of the attention to detail our employees put into the trucks. We're constantly evolving in new ways we're constantly upgrading all of our equipment to the newest things out there on the market and we offer everything that's possible to the customer to meet their needs one of the reasons i'm so dedicated to, to what i do is is the fact that i am a firefighter and i know what it takes for a good apparatus to function properly in the field uh, when it's needed most you ain't got time to get second guess anything. That's why I put a lot of pride in, in what I build. It's hard to find two trucks that are the same because we build them for the customer and whatever they require in their area is what we put on them. We have over 50 years of experience building fire trucks and the one thing that we have done quite well is, is to listen to the fire departments. We have learned a great deal from both the small rural fire departments all the way up to the biggest cities. And we have a pretty good idea of what's important to the fire departments. Obviously number one is the safety of the, of the, of the firefighters and, and we strive to build the best fire truck 
that, that, they can, that they can purchase. The roles the dealers play is absolutely vital to the success of the relationship from pre-bid meetings through the sales process to the building process all the way through the life of the truck. I believe it's their willingness to do the best possible job that they can to get the truck that the fire, fire department needs. They are the liaison between the customer and the manufacturer. Most big city fire departments are all schooled to fight fires in the same way. The problem is, is every big city fire department fights it in their own way. So with that in mind, SMEAL's open to how we want to use and abuse their equipment so they understand some of the things that we like to change, things we want to try or look at. So their engineers are always able to work with us and say, well, we'll give it a shot. I know we won't, but uh, they're able to uh, custom fit a pumper or an apparatus for you based on how you fight fire in that city. When we're buying large numbers and we're looking at the different manufacturers, and there's a lot of them out there, you know, and in today's economy, anytime you put out a, a request for a proposal, I mean, you get a you generate a lot of interest. You know, uh, one thing I look for is a continual interest, you know, because we change things. We might think we want a truck a certain way, and halfway through the process, you know, with the chiefs that are involved, we, we change our mind. So it's sometimes we can become a little bit of a pain in the rear end, but it's, it's a continual interest. It's an ongoing accessibility to the engineers and the designers. Uh, put the engineers to the test. You know, uh, we've made a lot of changes with, with our trucks. Uh, we're using them in different type of conditions. Uh, some of the things we wanted to try, this was, you know, we came up with these things through a brainstorming with all the chiefs. Let's try this, let's try that. Um, and we used uh, the different manufacturers to say, will this work, will it not work? And Smeal stepped forward. I mean, they were able to say, well, we tried this, this might not be a good idea, or this is even a better idea. So uh, as much as we tried to develop the perfect spec, we really relied on Smeal to assist us. You know, it's once we got to a certain point, and we'd already used our trucks before, so, you know, this, this is the way we want to go. Um, we did throw some new designs at them, so, but we work through it and put Smeal to the task, you know, test them, use their engineers, use their design team. They're, it's well worth the time and effort that you have to put forth to get the exact truck that you need. I'm very happy with Smeal. Uh, I'm happy with the, their response when we have issues uh, regarding uh, repairs or service. Uh, and I have to add that uh, I'm very happy with the dealership that we're working with too. And that's a big deal for us to have someone local that we can speak to and get response. One of the things that makes our company unique in the fire truck industry is our people. We've got great people. Uh, we're not a, a mega factory full of suits uh, uh, conducting business. We're real people. We're, we're Many of our employees are firemen, volunteer firemen. Many of our employees are involved in, in other aspects of uh, uh, taking care of the communities that we live in, whether they're serving on the school board, uh, board of trustees. We've got uh, several mayors on our staff, several fire chiefs on our staff. Uh, we're just uh, a company that's very conscious of what the consumer is looking for, what the consumer needs, and how to treat people. And I think that uh, what cities will find in, in uh, talking with our dealers and, our, and other past customers and certainly looking at the uh, available financial information, they're going to see that we're a rock-solid company. We have a very strong balance sheet, we have very little debt, and uh, we can deliver what the customer orders. Our customers talk about our aerial ladders being rock-solid. City managers and mayors can be assured that our company's financial stability is rock-solid as well. We've been able to obtain some phenomenal growth over the last 15 years without accumulating a lot of debt in the process. We've been careful. It's been strategic growth, organic growth. We've uh, added to our product lines. We've added to our dealerships. We've added to our coverage of our products across the country and throughout Canada. And the fact is that we are a very solid company 15 years ago and a very solid company today. Uh, I think that it's important that any, uh, any city or department out there looking to buy apparatus today knows that 
uh, the company they're make it, put, making the purchase with, putting the order with, can deliver the goods. And I think that our strong financial position uh, will enable us to do that for years to come. Anybody that's looking at a SMEAL apparatus, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing for your district. Again, it's the quality of the workmanship, what they provide for us. Um, we have had no issues with the trucks prior or since, and uh, we'll never go with anybody else.